Hi guys. So today I'm going to give you some information about uh, uh, let's say what all things we did when we went for uh, the Northern Lights trip to Tromsø, Norway. And I thought like this would be a good video to give you information and what all things we did. You know, so that you can get some tips out of it. I just hope so. <laughs> so let me start uh, with the, what we did. So um, uh, we did our trip in February 2018. It was this year, like in the starting itself. And um, my husband did some research and he got to know that it's good to go on like a no moon night. No moon night. So there is no moon. So you will get better you know, experience with the Northern Lights. So that is what we got to know by some research. And then um, according to that, we booked our tickets. We went for three days. It was a very tight packed um, trip, but uh, we didn't want to spend too much. So we packed it into three days. So we reached Tromso in the afternoon and... Um, we had uh, before reaching there we uh, booked a trip uh, through chasing light tours so according to the research we did they were considered one of the best ones for this trip so we booked for two days um, with them uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, send them a mail and telling about uh, like your plans like when you are like the dates when you want to actually go and go for the trip so they'll send you a um, return mail with all their prizes so i can give you what prizes we got um so they have an option of mini bus uh, which cost around 1800 nok i'll put the uh, i'll convert and put it in euros and other currencies over here for you okay uh, uh, if you plan for the next day uh, they'll cost you 1700 like 100 nok less and if you book it for the third day then 1500 nok so the mini bus actually include just takes 14 people they'll give you the thermal suits and boot everything uh, plus tripod plus photographic tip so this is basically a trip if you are if you want a like a small trip with you, know, you want to take photographs also along with it uh, dinner is also included but uh, we didn't want to like go for this mini trip we were like trying to save money so there is an option of a big bus also which takes around 55 people in it so we opted for that uh, the gear, the thermal wear and the boots that we bought uh, from Decathlon you get it pretty cheaper over there if you want to know some links of the cheaper and good i'll actually put it in the description box below uh, so decathlon is a very good place to buy thermal wear and uh, i'll do a separate video where i'll tell you what you need to dress up from head to toe when you go to such places so there'll be a separate video for that okay uh, so we did was we bought our own thermal wear and boots that cost us uh, cheaper as compared to like taking there and going on a minibus so own thermal wear and boots plus a big bus big bus cost you 950 nok and uh, if you book for another day it costs you around 850 nok so it's always recommended to book for at least two days why because it's like the northern lights are totally unpredictable so um, uh, it's better to go on two days so that you might experience like one day would be a different experience, the other day would be a different experience. One day you might not see Northern Lights, the other day you might see the Northern Lights. So like most chances are you'll see the Northern Lights but it can take time. So it's always good to book for two days so that you can have a different experience. Um, okay, so the big bus, let me come to that. Uh, it has 55 people in it. Uh, they'll give you snacks and hot beverages and uh, they'll give you photography tips also so um uh, if you want to take photographs you i'll you know the best thing is to take a, a digital camera um, and uh, take a uh, tripod with you a long tripod with you because 
the northern lights they are in a momentum so you will need a tripod to keep your camera steady so it's always recommended if you're taking the camera um take a tripod also along with it plus the two people they'll actually give will give you like a chance to take as many pics as you want you can just ask them you can go to take pics they'll take pics for for you wherever you want them to they'll have like their tripod set up in certain places where like the view is good so you can ask them for taking any as much as pics you want to with as much poses as you want to so that's also a good option we actually didn't go uh, we took the camera but our settings were not uh, you know good for taking um, we had an old camera so the settings were not that perfect for the northern lights so we asked the uh, you know uh, the camera the two people to take photos we decided on different poses i'll put the photos at the end so you can get an idea how good and awesome photos we took over there okay um so the two starts at around 45 in the evening uh so the 545 evening uh that's why we took uh, like a plane which would take a will reach tromso till uh, afternoon and from then in the evening we will start the tour so this was our lucky day i would say that the skies were clear so i'll tell you uh, the chasing like the two people they don't actually look for the northern lights they look for clear sky that's their impo- first thing they'll tell you that they are looking for clear sky and luckily we had clear skies on all three days but we took for two two for two days so but um, the skies were clear so we left at around 6:45 and we were lucky enough at 6:30 to find the lights so like on both the days we had like uh, lights on both the days uh, first day we didn't say find the dancing light but on the second day oh we had an uh, amazing show so it's worth it <laughs> go for it <laughs> okay uh one more thing if you uh, reach the airport uh, from airport till the tromso center uh there is a shuttle service available so you can go for that it cost around 50 nok for adults and around i think so 20 nok for uh, kids uh there are taxi services also available but that's a bit expensive so go, it's up to you how you want to go ahead with it and uh, the hotel we stayed at uh, was smart hotel it is in the city uh, the tromso center itself and it was pretty close to the um place where the bus starts so the bus starts it's uh, close to the tromso information center so you can like check in the map and see where exactly it is and you can decide according to that so taking a hotel in the tromso center helps you with the shuttle service also and plus with the tours also so all the tours they uh, actually have uh, services uh, near to the tromso city center and they'll drop you uh, in the city center also not necessarily where the stop is uh, that's also good in another way is like um, so, sometimes the you know the trip takes a lot of time so it can go till 12 at night also so at night it gets pretty dark pitch dark so when they drop you at the city center and if your hotel is nearby so it would be good for you to you know easily walk and reach your uh, Okay, so it's a very safe place, but just for the convenience part, I would say. Okay, uh, our hotel was very small, a very small uh, room which had a bed, a small TV, a small desk, and an attached bathroom, and like just bare minimum space. But we took it because it was com- cheaper in the city. Plus, um, you just need the bed to sleep. and like most of the time will be out so that's a very good place to like cheaper the better and uh, what else yeah we took a lot of um, uh, like no- cup noodles along with us uh, the hotel gave us hot water there was a small restaurant below it so you can take easily go over there and pour some hot water into your cup noodles and have it uh for the trip also we took the big bus so big bus didn't include uh, the dinner in it so there also we took some cup noodles they'll provide you with hot water they'll give you snacks and uh, go hot chocolate but uh, still 
having uh, your own food along with you also helps any which way norway tromso it's very expensive place so it's good that you have some or the other thing too like uh, your own stuff so that you don't spend too much going out and eating food there are a uh, certain sto- shops like um, grocery shops are there certain book stores wood magazine stores also you'll see there is a small counter where you can get uh, pizza slices and uh, croissant like stuff so if you want a cheap up um, place where you can buy stuff so that's a place but better take some or the other thing along with you so that you can like uh, have your own food <laughs> it's pretty expensive by the way okay we also uh, did some uh, like uh, dog sledging uh, that also through the same tour uh, chasing lights uh, that was our third day uh it starts uh, around 8:45 in the morning takes around 2 to 3 hours they'll take a mini bus and th- there they'll give you all the gears you need their gears to wear and you know go for dog sledging it costed around let me tell you costed around 1750 nok uh there they gave us a very amazing amazing cake <laughs> that was made by the owner oh she makes a delicious cake and some hot chocolate and uh, if you need more information about the dog sledging i can make a separate video or you can give me, ask me in the comment section below um i hope i have covered everything if you need more information um put it in the comment section below and uh, i'll try to answer as much as i can okay guys I hope I covered everything. <laughs> so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need any more information. Bye bye.